this video is presented by Sailrite. In this video, we're going to use the acrylic braid soft binding. This is best for scalloped edges. This is really the easiest to use around the edge. Now, you can get some umbrella binding and use that if you wish, but this is real, uh, hugs, a, hugs into it real well on the upswing and then around the bottom. Uh, it's a little bit different to handle, and you don't really want to run it through a feeder because it doesn't exactly hold itself. You need to help hold it. And it also wants to widen out on its own. So as we're sewing, we're going to be tensioning it just with a little tug. And you can almost see that there's a center line there. So we'll fold it over. Now, I do advise that on the end, they will be seem real wide. So if you just simply take it and tension that, and do a couple of back stitches across it. It just gathers that end in and holds it together. And you can cut that wide end off and just fold that right inside and it's gonna hide. And that'll be the start of it with a finished edge on it. Start here. Flip this off just a little bit more. Okay, and then see well how wide it gets here like that. And if you just tension it, it goes right back. Okay, you want to fold the end in there. Just kind of tension it a little bit and fold it over. And you can pinch that onto the end where you're going to start. Tension a little, a little bit. Feed it up underneath the foot. And you want to just take your time with this. You'll, you will be um, very happy that you took a little bit of extra time with it. Because you just want to go a little bit of a ways at a time. That way it's not going to move so much on you. So if you just do a few inches ahead of yourself. Then you can see onto the back how it's going to be there. And just take a few back stitches here. Move up a few more inches, pulling it, tensioning just a little bit, and it almost hugs right around it as you tension that. Then you can push it over and just hold it onto the fabric. And it is wise to keep your needle down. That way it's not going to slide one way or the other off of it as you're tensioning. And then you just pull it. And you can almost see where the center is. So then you just push down where the center is. Go a few inches. And you see how that widened up right away there. So you don't want that. So then you just tension it a bit again. Push down at the center. Just move around all your scallops that way. You might have a couple places where it'll widen a little bit, but it really isn't that noticeable. And if you tension it, you can push in, and this stuff is soft enough that you can feel that it's up against your edge, so you don't have to worry about sewing it off of it. And then just go a few more inches again. And like I said, if you just keep inching your way around it, you'll be a lot happier with your this product. is an acrylic soft binding, which means it'll last longer in the sun than a polyester or a nylon, by far. And you want to try to keep a line in front of your foot, of course, just like before. Get my needle in there and then I'll tension. Well, this acrylic soft binding is best sewn with a zigzag machine. It helps to catch the other side. If you don't have a zigzag, obviously you can use a straight stitch because we're doing it here. But a zigzag is a little trick. It's too bad that you can't put this soft binding through one of Sarite's binder attachments, but it does not work. It does not have enough body, so you have to do it by hand like this. You may ask, why are we using it? Why don't we just use the regular umbrella binding? 
The issue is that it doesn't go around curves as well. Obviously the binding has to shrink up and the regular Sumbrella has a tendency to create little hard spots while the soft binding does not. That's why we choose to use it for scallops. Everything else, use the regular binding. I'm Eric Grant. If you have questions, give us a call here at Sailrite.